Federal police in Belgium issued a wanted notice with this photo of a man suspected of attacking the Brussels airport on Tuesday. The Islamic State group has claimed responsibility for the deadly attacks that left dozens dead and nearly 190 injured, posting that the attack was in response to Belgium's support of the international coalition arrayed against the group. Two blasts at the Brussels airport left behind a chaotic scene, with blown out windows, collapsed ceilings and travelers streaming out of the smoky building. After the second explosion, so many people panicked, so many people cried. Most went down to the ground and uh, we tried to hide in between the counter or anything else. Police found and detonated a third bomb once the chaos had eased. The CEO of the Brussels airport said the airport will remain closed at least through Wednesday. About an hour after the airport blast, another bomb exploded on a rush hour subway train near the European Union headquarters forcing terrified passengers to evacuate through darkened tunnels to safety. These are war injuries. I have more than 40 years of experience on the job, so I've seen a lot of things. I think this is the worst thing I've ever seen in my career. Security has been boosted across Europe and the U.S. following the attacks, with German armed police stopping vehicles near the border with Belgium. World leaders have condemned the attacks, with President Barack Obama calling on the world to unite against terrorism. And this is yet another reminder that the world must unite. We must be together, regardless of nationality or race or faith, in fighting against the scourge of terrorism. People in Belgium displayed their solidarity in the hours after the attacks, writing colorful messages on the ground outside the Brussels Stock Exchange. Matthew Burgoyne, Associated Press.